Hi, so a couple of weeks ago we celebrated our 12 year anniversary and Julian from Rocket Food Rocket sent us an anniversary present. So thanks very much for that Julian uh, and team. Uh, it's their Phoenix 3D D78 uh, deployment mechanism. So it's got a beautiful print quality on this. Um, it needs a little bit of finishing, so it's going to need a, a servo motor and a little plastic spring for the parachute. But other than that, we can just fit it onto top of one of our rockets. Now I've already prepared a little adapter that will be able to, because it's slightly different diameter to our normal rockets. Uh, so we're just gonna cut that off and slip that over the top of one of our rockets and it should be good to go. So thanks again. And if uh, for all those people watching, uh, I've provided a link to their team's website as well as their YouTube channel. They do awesome work and check out their videos. They're really top quality. So thanks again, guys, and let's see it in action. Julian had included a set of instructions with the nose gun as well, which was really good. Here's how we mounted the servo motor. It has double-sided tape underneath and then the whole thing is held down with a couple of cable ties. We secured the nose cone to the adapter with some electrical tape. We cut a notch in the side to pass the shock cord through. Now the original design has a hole for the shock cord inside the nose cone, but we like to attach our parachutes to the side of the rocket so they come down sideways. We didn't attach the plastic parachute spring to the sides as was suggested, as we were concerned that the parachute may get caught underneath it. And so we just attach the spring like this by drilling a couple of holes in the back and then wire tying the spring on. As suggested, we drilled a couple of holes in the parachute door and then wired a shock cord to it so we wouldn't lose the door when it opened. And here we're packing the parachute. With a bit of practice, it's easy to do. We're using our servo timer to control the parachute deployment. Here we're giving it a quick test. Okay, now launching three, two, one. Okay, so it was time to go to the club launch to give it a go in actual flight. And prior to flight, we tested the mechanism one just more time just to make sure we were getting a clean separation. Here it is next to our regular nose cone. This worked well and so we repacked the parachute for the flight. Then we filled the rocket up with 1.8 litres of water and foam. Okay, do we have anyone else who wants to put a rocket up in the next five minutes? and set it up on the pad. Maybe on the next one. Here we're hooking up a brake wire to the servo timer for it to detect launch. Four seconds, we should probably do five seconds. And launching in five, four, three, two, one, go! As you can see, the parachute deployment mechanism worked quite well. So well done guys for a very nice design. So that's it for this week and once again thank you to Julian and the team for the Phoenix deployment mechanism.